Chief Executive Donald Zhang said yesterday's electrical by-election was smooth and orderly, but also unique and contentious. We should respect those who chose to exercise their rights and cast their votes yesterday. But at the same time, we should not ignore the views of the silent majority who chose not to vote, many of whom believed that a by-election had been an abuse of the electoral system and a waste of taxpayers' money. After the by-election, he hopes for a new start. In the coming weeks, he and his colleagues will go direct to the community to explain the significance of the 2012 reform package. I hope that from today on, we can put aside our differences and work together to push for constitutional advancement. To do that, we must now focus on a package that is now put on the table for 2012 and ask ourselves a few fundamental questions. The four questions he raised include, is the 2012 package more democratic? Would its passage lay a stronger foundation for implementing universal suffrage in 2017 and 2020? Would its passage pose an obstacle to people who want to realize their democratic goals? And would its passage help to increase the mutual trust among the central government, the Hong Kong government, LACCO, and the public? Donald Zhang said, Answers to these questions are quite obvious, adding most Hong Kong people want LACCO members to vote for the package. There is still time before LACCO members have to make a final decision. Before they do, I urge them to listen to the views of the people. At stake is nothing less than the future of our democracy, the future of Hong Kong. We lost a golden opportunity five years ago. We must not let it happen again.